by the time this video is up. Aeka and Navia's banners are available if you're going to pull for them. I wish you good luck. Hopefully you don't lose your 50, 50, and drown yourselves with your tears of sorrow. Anyway, tomorrow is the Spiral Abyss reset, so let's first give my Aeka a little upgrade, cause I haven't used her in a while. Her current build is pretty decent, but we lent her the Spiral Abyss for crying out loud. This is not enough. The artifacts I have on her is two-piece Blizzard Strayer and Gladiator's Finale. Let's test our luck in the Stronghold box box and see if we'll get something good. If not what's the point of even upgrading her? This is the only good one I got out of all of these. If defense is the fourth substat I'll literally go insane. That defense substat is scary. I'll feed all of this trash blizzard artifacts to the stronghold box. You guys have no idea how much circlets I have with this very same format. Let's move on. What is the meaning of this? I'll start upgrading that timepiece I got earlier cause the one I have equipped is garbage as you can clearly see. Now that is what I'm talking about. The crit ratio has improved a lot. Let's see if we can still increase it. That's decent, though the crit rate's a bit low, since the previous flower Aeka had on has more crit rate, but that is not a problem, since we'll be borrowing Aato's sword. Aato won't mind since they're siblings. Sharing is caring. Would you look at that? Okay that's enough upgrading I'll see you tomorrow. And we are finally are you done? As I was saying, let's enter the abyss. Floor 9 to 11 is a piece of cake. Give me a moment to collect my rewards. This is my team setup. Freeze Aeka and Hyper Blue Malhatham. It would be better if I have Shenha. But look at this. But I promise you, the moment she has a rerun, I will 100% pull for her. Mark my words. To be completely honest with you all, I haven't tried this team yet in battle. This is going to be the first time with this combination. And the thing is I haven't played with Aeka in a while. Cause I remember when she was first released, I seriously had a hard time with her gameplay. Yeah I know, a skill issue. So this is going to be a trial and error. I don't really care how chaotic my rotation is going to be. My only goal is to 36 star the abyss. Take that you fools. How do you like it being frozen in place? Want more? Here you go. This part is really annoying, cause when they all attack at once, they deal an insane amount of damage. And since I have Hydro and these circle idiots trigger Dendro, and that MF is Pyro, basically, Burgeon all together. This is what my brain looks like when I'm trying to solve math equations. Okay take two. I'm literally spamming Zangli's skill whenever the cooldown's done. I'll activate it at once. I can't afford to lose any more team members. And it is exhausting to start from the top over and over. Come on now. I'll have less than a minute left. I still have to do the other chamber. Could I possibly finish this in 54 seconds? Let's find out. The answer is yes. Chamber 2 here we go. I'll just freeze everything in my path. So all of you shall not move ha ha ha. How dare you walk away from me. Take this you idiot. These two fools move around a lot. So how does it feel? Being stuck in one place. So far this chamber is smoother than the previous one. Let's keep that up. I've been seeking a professional in hopes that I can overcome my skill issue. I think I'm slowly improving. I better hurry up if I want to have time for the next half. Cause every single enemy in this floor is so tanky. I forgot the enemy in this half. Alright let's just go. Oh it's the freaking Dendro looking legendary Pokemon. And you know what else is Dendro. Half of my team. I better stop with the excuses. This is just an obstacle I have to get over with. Stop running you chicken. This idiot literally goes to every corner in this darn domain. Sorry darling you're not getting out of here. Come on die now will you? I want to have fried chicken for dinner. Darn it this idiot keeps running away. Sorry Singchu I just had to take a screenshot of that. Cause why does it look like his soul is leaving his body after that hit? To be fair he's on life support. 
Geez, I have 10 seconds left. I'm spamming their attack as much as I can. My fingers hurt. That was too close. I had like 4 seconds to spare. We are finally in chamber 3. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Right when I just said I won't mess up. Cause these cowards keep jumping away. I'll pile up these two idiots and let those two samurais come forward themselves. They shall run into my trap. Guys look at the statues I built. Isn't it nice? Bro that was too close. If I wasn't able to dodge that, I probably would have been one shotted. This bastard literally had the audacity to block Furina's burst. This is taking way too long. Just get out of my sight. Okay this should be enough to defeat these two. Okay never mind they are still alive. That samurai was just spinning around. Catch me if you can. You fools. I think I can pull this off. Since I have Aika and Furina I could constantly make them frozen. Plus Zangli's meteor here and there. Ideally. I would like to have a minute and 30 seconds for each half of a chamber. But throughout this video. I wasn't able to do that. So speed run it is. Both are at low health. Any minute now. Got the other one. Tendo. Whoa that was insane. As soon as Zangli's meteor dropped. I can't remember how much time I have left. Anyway. I have like a minute left. This is going to be easy. Since I always use my hyper bloom team against these two dancers. And thankfully I'm always successful. But I shouldn't jinx it. Imagine I said all of that. And I ended up losing. That would be unfortunate. This idiot keeps throwing things at me. There you go. Just continue dancing in the center. So I can easily eliminate you both. Wait. I'm running out of time. Okay random shit go burr. <laughs> Finally, we are done. Now give me my rewards. Seriously. All that hard work for this garbage.